live on a planet that has a huge variety of living things. Earth is biodiversity rich compared to other planets. However, some of the Earth's biodiversity is in danger because of loss of habitats, pollution, overuse of natural resources, climate change, and the introduction of invasive species. Every living thing, no matter how big or small, has an important role to play in its ecosystem. The plants and animals in an ecosystem are all connected and depend on each other. They also depend on the non-living things, like soil, air and rocks too. The different species of plants, animals and non-living things are connected like a big imaginary web. The more connections in the web, the better it is for the ecosystem and each of the species in it. If it is missing a piece, like a plant or animal, the ecosystem could collapse. In Ireland, lots of our bees are in trouble and could disappear if we don't do something to help them. If we lose bees from the ecosystem, we could lose lots of different types of plants which give us fruit and vegetables. Let's learn about what we can do to help biodiversity. Make your home or garden bee friendly. Plant some different flowers and herbs in pots, window boxes or flower beds at home. The more variety the better. Bees love dandelion and clover flowers. So ask the grown-ups at home to leave a patch of grass uncut until late summer. The dandelion and clover flowers will provide food for bees. Don't use herbicides and pesticides in your gardens. These are harmful sprays that can kill wildflowers and make pollinators, such as bees and butterflies, sick. Remember, more bees equals more plants and also more biodiversity. We can also help other living things at home. Lots of living things make their home in dead wood, and other animals use it as a source of food. If you have a garden, create a log pile in a shady spot. This will provide a shelter for insects, who in turn provide food for birds. The older the wood, the better, and all you need to do is leave it be. Insects and small mammals will come flocking to it, and if you're lucky, you might even find fungi growing on it. This means you have lots of biodiversity in your log pile. Make your own bird pit stop in your garden. You can make a hanging bird feeder from an old plastic bottle or milk carton and place a bird bath out for the birds to drink water and bathe. Learn as much as you can about biodiversity and share your knowledge with others. This will help them to appreciate living things and nature and make choices that better protect it. Did you know by visiting Dublin Zoo you are helping to support biodiversity? Dublin Zoo works hard to protect native and non-native biodiversity by working with modern zoos all over the world to ensure that the populations of endangered species remain healthy. Dublin Zoo uses palm oil free or sustainable palm oil products to ensure orangutans' native habitats are not destroyed by deforestation. Why don't you try the same on your next shopping trip? Thank you for exploring with us today. Why not tune in to some of the other activities taking place as part of the Eco Explorers Club? If you'd like to learn more about biodiversity, check out our website, sseartricity.com slash ecoexplorersclub.